Hi everybody, it's Joanne here with a work in progress and today I have something a little bit different for you. Have you ever heard of the app called Poshmark? Well, it is a selling platform for men's, children's and women's clothing and accessories. And I have been selling on the platform for about four years now. And recently Poshmark reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in doing a sponsored video like this one, sharing my five tips for getting a Poshmark closet started. So I'm super excited to share that with you today. Uh, I wish I had kind of known or thought about these five tips when I first started my closet way back when. It would have been helpful, but I hope that you find them helpful in getting your Poshmark closet up and running. So the first tip I want to share with you is the name for your closet. It is up to you. What I would suggest is that you think of a name if you really want to make this um, a, into a business and a real selling platform for yourself. Think of a name that is maybe a little bit different. Uh, mine is, and I'll tell you the reason that I chose it, it may not be very different, but there was a reason for it. Uh, the name of my closet is Violets with an underscore child. My mom's name was Violet, and what I did was I tried to kind of brand or mark my closet so that when folks saw my pictures that they would eventually come to know that they were from Violet's Child. The background in my photographs is white with a large cutout of a violet flower that is done in violet. And then when I package up my sales and I send them out, I wrap them in a violet colored ribbon and my business card has the violet logo on it as well as being printed in violet. So as you see, I'm trying to kind of create a whole cohesive theme there. So that's my first tip. Think of a really good name for your closet. Um, my second tip is to make sure to go through the Poshmark guidelines and familiarize yourself with them. Uh, to me, that just makes sense on any platform that you're selling on. Uh, you want to know what you can and can't sell on Poshmark. Uh, it just makes things a lot easier. Their guidelines are very simple. They're very straightforward. Uh, they're not difficult to follow. Uh, for instance, uh, as I said earlier in the video, Poshmark is a selling platform for women, men's, and children's clothes and accessories, anything that you can wear on your body. So it doesn't include a uh, picture for flowers or wall art. Um, there are other platforms for that, and Poshmark is not that platform, but it is a great selling platform for those items that you can wear. Another tip that I have for you is take time and go through, just spend a good amount of time, periodically even, going through other people's closets. It's, you're going to get a wealth of information from doing that. Um, you can see how others are listing their items, what kind of backgrounds they're using, uh, what kind of designers uh, and labels that are being listed. Prices, that's a good way to get a, a guide on pricing your own items that you have. Uh, you can also see what things have sold as well. Uh, so do take that time to go through other people's closets. I think you'll find it very helpful. I have definitely found it helpful for myself. Um, the other thing is when you start your closet, you might just want to start off a little bit slower and now is the perfect time for it. It's spring. We're purging everything. Go through your closet, pull out the clothes that are no longer working for you and start with those. Now you want to make sure that your items are clean, there's no holes, no stains, no tears. You want to sell an item the way that you would want to receive it. So you don't want to receive something with cat hair on it or a bunch of pilling or dirty or that has an odor to it. So keep, keep that in mind. Whatever you sell, you should sell it in the condition that you would want to receive it. 
But getting started selling things from your own closet is a great way to get the ball rolling. Um, Poshmark is a very uh, community-based uh, app, so there is a lot of sharing that's involved. Uh, you want to share your items multiple times throughout the day if you can. Uh, they also have designated parties. So uh, they'll have a party dedicated to shoes or to bags or something. So you have uh, purses listed in your closet. When you get that notification that there is a bag party about to start or is starting, you want to share your bags to that party. Um, you want to share other people's bags as well to your followers. And followers are the people that follow you on Poshmark. So you want to follow them back. You want to share things from their closet as well. It's a very interactive uh, app. And uh, the last thing that I want to share with you is about your listings it themselves. Uh, your pictures. What do you say about your item? For myself, I prefer a clean white background. Uh, with my logo on it. Now you will find a lot of people on Poshmark, they do stage their items. So they'll have a skirt for sale and they'll put a pair of pumps with it and perhaps a blouse and a necklace. And that works for them. That's great. I've tried it and I can't say personally for me that it increased my sales any. Uh, I actually found it to be a little bit more work, but it works for folks. Try it and see if it works for you. Just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you. And right now, I believe you can have up to six pictures on Poshmark. I say that because they could change at any time. Use all six pictures. Take advantage of it. You want to get the front of your item, the back of it, the label, any uh, care tags that are inside of it, uh, um, the... Uh, fabric content. Um, anything that you would want to know about an item is what you want to include in your listing. So how do you describe your item? Be as detailed as you possibly can. A pretty white blouse just isn't going to cut it. You want to say, what makes that white blouse so pretty? Describe the detailing in it. Make sure um, also that you put measurements in your listing, not just a medium, but how long are the arms. Um, I measure mine from under the armpit to the end of the sleeve. Uh, how many buttons does it have down the front? How long is the blouse from under the arm to down to the hemline? What is it across the bust? How long is the dress? You want to, like I said, include as much details as you possibly can about it. You want to make that listing so detailed and your pictures so pretty and so clean and so crisp that somebody is going to click on that. They're going to look at those pictures. They're going to read that full description and they're not going to have any questions. The only question is how quickly can I get it delivered to me after I purchase it? So um, those are my five tips for starting a Poshmark closet. I hope you do. It's a lot of fun. I have really enjoyed it. Uh, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I will do my best to answer them for you. I will also have a link uh, to Poshmark in the description box below and a link to my closet in the description box below. And if you do decide to start a closet or just or even to join, uh, there'll be a code for you as well and you will receive $5 off of your per first purchase from Poshmark and I will receive a $5 credit as well. So there is nothing stopping you from doing this. It is really easy. It is fun. And if you do start, and I hope you do, let me know as I want to know how you do on it. Uh, that's it for now, guys. I hope the tips were helpful to you. Let me know. And until next time, I hope everyone takes very, very good care of themselves, okay? Bye for now.